Hey Roger, I'm gonna do a quick video to show you. This is the living room. I guess you can see up there that niche, that top part hasn't been painted as of yet. Uh, and see that spot up there? I have no idea why. There's certain spots on the walls. He blames it on the paint, of course, which, you know, it does have to be touched up. I don't know if you can see that, where it's bled through. I think a lot of these instances though, for instance, look over these light switch covers. See that light color right there? I mentioned the light switch, uh, the covers. He didn't even take them off uh, in this room. I took them off in all the bedrooms. And, but anyway, there's another niche that hasn't been painted. And he, he has a ladder, so that's really no excuse. Uh, but anyway, this room, as you can see, is not finished um, uh, and he's took down all the uh, window dressings the blinds and whatnot uh, I sure hope he's gonna put them back up even the one here over this uh, back door and see where he started right there uh, on the kitchen <laughs> We left him here. Most of the kitchen was already painted uh, sometime during the night. Um, but he was working on this little spot while we were gone. Uh, so you can tell that niche, he got it painted in behind the refrigerator. And this part here, right there, he's got it painted. This is the other side that he doesn't have painted. You can see where he put a splotch of paint on it. Um, there again, more curtains. Um, and up there, you can see where it's streaked. Honestly, I think most of those reasons, he's not keeping enough paint uh, on the brushes and the roller. He lets it get too thin when he's spreading the paint. Um, Okay, here's Lane's bedroom. It, this is the best looking room and it's not 100%, but anyway, it looks way better than it did, of course. You know what it looked like. Uh, I don't know if you can make it out too good. That's the light hitting the wall. But uh, there are a few spots in here too, not near as many, because he already did this one. He already touched it up, but you can see right there in this corner, there's a splotch that you can see the old color from. Like I said, I already put all the covers back on these. I took them off and put them back on uh, in the closet. Uh, I took all the closet doors off and put them back on. And here's the closet I painted. And I took all these wire shelves down and I put them back up last night when he wasn't even here. And he's saying uh, he's gotta come back and redo this closet. Like I said, the realtor came in and looked at this. And he didn't say a word about it. In fact, he said he wouldn't even worry about painting the interior of any of these closets. And I'm looking, I'm getting a close-up view right now. And I don't see what he's talking about. It's just the texture. There again, you see my finger. It's the texture of this wall, the orange peel texture, that maybe makes it look like that. But you know, uh, this is a closet. <laughs> you know, you, it'll be full of clothes and other stuff before you know it. Uh, but he says he's going to have to come in here and touch this up. This is the very, I'm serious, this is the very least of my worries, this closet, and what a customer, a potential home buyer, would think about it. The average person that comes looks at a house maybe spends 15 or 20 minutes. They don't go around inspecting every little detail. But some some things will just pop out at you. This wall looks good. Now, this is a room I'm proud of, actually. The bathroom. Teresa got on to me because I was cleaning it this morning. She said, I'm... We've already got somebody lined up to do a deep cleaning of the house. As soon as he gets it painted, of course, uh, they're going to come in with two people for eight hours. So that's 16 hours. They're going to deep clean this place. 
but I cleaned the toilet. Look how clean that is. Ooh, that's shiny. I scrubbed it good. And this is the new floor. As you can see, it looks like slate. It looks pretty good if you ask me. It looks really good. I ripped this old tile out myself, this uh, linoleum. I scrubbed this countertop this morning. The sinks, the fixtures, see how shiny that is? I did this one. And I started cleaning. I cleaned all under here. And Teresa walked in on me. She said, what are you doing? She said, we're hiring somebody to do this. Um, at least got under all three of these cabinets. Really good with this uh, bleachy smelling stuff, Clorox. And uh, as you can see, that's where I stopped. The drawers need to be clean. But we got somebody lined up. Uh, to do that there's the closet and like you said there's really no need honestly to paint the closets uh, but if I told him I said if that's what it took to sell the house we'd paint them but he says no it's not even necessary but that's this room uh, I'm fixing to load all this stuff up and haul it off that's out there to the uh, hopefully the hospice place. I've got to kind of hurry. Um, yeah, this room's going to have to have a lot of work. And here's the room Trace and I slept in. It don't look too bad, honestly. Uh, just a few touch-ups like you can see that spot over there and one right there and behind the door there's a few um, I've already hung these doors back up as well as you can see there's really no need to paint these closets that just takes extra paint and a lot more labor because each closet's got corners you have to deal with and along the ceiling, the trim and all that. But, uh, anyway, that's this room. Back here though, oh Lord, this is a mess. This room, whoever painted this blue did a very, very poor job. As you can see, they got blue paint on the doors. There's blue paint. I think Sarah must have done this. It's such a bad job. But anyway, you can see there's blue paint on that trim. And I took all the plates off of this wall, this room. And there's inside of this window. Um, it's hard to see, but there's, yeah, right there is blue paint. That's not been covered very well. And this is a wall. As you can see, there's blue paint. He just did a quick coat on this one, I think, because the carpet men were here. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get all this stuff coordinated, but you got to work with me, you know? Uh, and there's that closet. We're not going to paint it. I took the doors off, of course. I'll put them back on. That was so they can lay the carpet. And there's that blue paint trim all up around there. All that's got to be painted all down this wall. Anyway, uh, the bathroom, he hadn't touched yet, this hall bath. I guess I'll patch these holes up for him. I guess I spoiled him for me doing it. And there's a few holes on this side. Uh, it looks like he put a coat of paint. It's got to be touched up. Yeah, he put a coat of paint on, on this wall. And this is what I was afraid of when he comes in at 1 o'clock in the morning. He's got paint because he didn't take this up. You see my finger? There's paint all over this. If I He uses a big brush. I use a small one and a half inch brush to do this type of work right here. 
all that. I would have used a small angled expensive brush. It's called Purdy, P-U-R-D-Y. That's the company. And uh, that's what I used to do my trim with, but he's got it, of course, on the, the door molding. Uh, there's the wall there, coming back into the kitchen, as you can see, that spot. Anyway, this is where we're at, and there's the garage again. We had this thing totally almost empty last week, and this is what we put in there this weekend. <laughs> it's amazing. It's truly amazing. Uh, but this is it.